you ever had problems where your design doesn't cut cleanly so that when you try to pull the paper away from the mat, a lot of it is staying stuck on the paper instead of being on the mat. I'll show you what I mean. You see here how it's snagging right there? And it keeps pulling the paper and keeping it with your original paper instead of leaving it down on the mat? Well, I've got a solution to this and it's quite easy. Okay, so the solution to this is in your cut settings. I have my design on the screen already and I'm going to go into my cut settings which is this little icon up here that looks like the blade and the blade holder. So I'm going to click cut settings and once you click on the material that you're cutting with you're going to see a whole bunch of options here and right down here you'll see this which is called line segment overcut. Right now it's off. Once you turn it on you have two options here you can choose how long a cut will be made at the beginning and at the end of the segment of that cut. So I'm going to explain that to you. This, this only works for designs that have sharp corners. For example, this tag right over here, that's a sharp corner. This would not be considered a sharp corner. It doesn't add the overcut here, but it does up over here. And if you use it on text, it will also add the overcut to wherever you've got a sharp edge. Curves won't give you this problem anyway. So I've done some experimenting and I tested various cuts using different settings here. I found that 0.1 really barely made a difference. I went up to 0.5 and 0.5 at the ending point and that did fairly well but you could go up to a maximum of 0.9 and you can choose to have only the starting point and not the ending point or only the ending point and not the starting point. You can experiment with that and see what gives you the best result. This is now using the maximum overcut setting, which is 0.9 millimeters. You'll see that the machine takes longer to cut because it goes back and cuts those ends of the lines. Right now it's cutting the tag. Now it's getting into the text. So it goes up and down several times, then it starts cutting the text. Here I'm just showing you how well the um, paper pulls off the mat using the overcut. So here I haven't used it and I'm going to pull this away and you'll see that pulls away very nicely. Here's the tag. The mat is a little bit sticky and I've left it on here for a little while but it pulls away very well. I was surprised that at the 0.1 millimeter setting it didn't pull away as clean. You see a lot of that is being left behind and when I go to loosen it it's actually harder to loosen. And look most of that is being left on the paper it's not staying on the mat which is what it should be doing. The tag isn't the problem because it's a larger piece. Here, this was cut with an overcut setting at 0.5 millimeters, and you can see it's pulling away from the mat on its own. And this again is staying down better. Okay, they, this part of the eye didn't stay down, and it's still slightly attached, but not as bad as with the 0.1 setting and here the rest of it is pulling away. This mat is very, very sticky, so if there's any problem, it's mostly due to that in this case, but it's pulling away very well here. And then here, this is the 0.9 millimeter setting, the maximum, and as expected, it's pulling away perfectly. I'm just gonna use a spatula here. 
because as I say, this mat is very sticky, it's new. But it's okay, it still shows you that the pieces themselves are pulling away perfectly. There's no problem. They were perfectly cut. This little bit in here is due to the mat being so sticky. But the pieces themselves were cut fine. Now the only thing is that when you use that overcut setting, I'm going to try to show this to you. Just grab a piece of dark paper. So here I'm showing you the detail of that T and you can see that inside the T there are cut lines that you wouldn't want. So for text you have to decide whether you would want that or not. And as you saw that the text pulled away without the overcut setting turned on on my first example. So you may not want to use it for text but for whenever you have a cut that has straight lines it can help you with that. Please leave a comment below telling me about any problems you might be having with your silhouette. And if you need additional help, please join my silhouette group on Facebook. I'm going to leave the address in the, right, in the upper right corner of this video. You can just click on it and it will take you straight there. Thanks so much for watching. Hope this has been helpful to you.